4.78. What's up guys? The NFL season is about to come and to celebrate, we're gonna do the 40 yard dash. And to do this, we are using a Raspberry Pi along with three 40 yard long wires connected to two laser trip wires. Now it may be literally 100 degrees right now, but nothing's gonna stop us from doing this. Let's get Like Ryan said earlier, we made two laser trip wires to start and stop a stopwatch. To do this, we first acquired a couple of photoresistors and paired them up with a couple of laser pointers. We soldered some wires to the legs of the photoresistors because we not only wanted to connect the resistors to the Raspberry Pi, but also we wanted to stick the resistors inside some cups so that we could point the lasers at them more easily. The laser diodes, on the other hand, were soldered to a battery pack. Then, we simply lined up one laser diode to point out one photoresistor and repeated this process to create a second tripwire. Since the photoresistors were connected to the Raspberry Pi, we could use the values read from these resistors to control a stopwatch GUI written in Python. We tested this setup outside and here's what happened. Dude, I don't know what to do with that. Well, boys, this was a good, uh, good video. It's raining right now, it just rip right now. But on a real note, we were able to fit in some quote unquote test runs. Before it started raining on us, we realized that the photoresistors were not fast enough to detect sudden changes in light intensity. Also, sunlight was able to pass through our paper cups, thereby affecting the resistance of the photoresistors. And lastly, our stopwatch program was just made very poorly and was not accurate whatsoever, whether it was too slow or too fast. To address these problems, we decided to move on to something more light sensitive, the phototransistor. Besides being more responsive to changes in light intensity, the phototransistor reads light differently than photoresistors. When light hits a photoresistor, its resistance decreases. When light hits a phototransistor, it lets more current pass through. As a result, we had to change our circuit a little bit by adding an analog to digital converter since the Raspberry Pi doesn't have any analog pins. To fix the issue involving the cups allowing too much light to pass through, we replaced those with some thick cardboard boxes. Oh, and we reprogrammed our stopwatch to actually measure time accurately by constantly calculating the difference between the current time and the time at which the stopwatch was activated. After we applied these changes, we decided to head back out to the field and give it another go. We were definitely pleased with the results this time. Go! Go? Yep. This man ends up with a five, seven, seven. Five, five, seven. So guys, that is pretty much it. Uh, we ended up getting a bunch of good times. Alex got the lowest time, I think of four, seven, eight. He cheated, he <laughs> cheated. You're got not supposed to get a head running start. start head, the head, line. head start with That's four, seven, eight. That's why it's so eight. hard, because if you start actually on the line, it's really hard because you don't have that acceleration, but he had some like, he had a running start, so he had some pre-acceleration to boost them but exactly yeah if you if you start behind the line it's really hard trust me because this thing will start right when you cross it and right when you cross it you may not be running at your full speed so <laughs> i mean look at our 40 our 40 yard wires actually one of our 40 yard wires was damaged by ryan Let's take <laughs> it a was here. not i tripped on it it might have gotten i don't know if the camera can pick it up because it's kind of dark but literally yeah. just follow it walk with me that's right <laughs> Look at the wires, it, we're not making this up. We are still walking. We got all this wire. And basically same setup, By the laser, way, 
uh, transistor on one end and the same thing on the other end. This video is not an ad. <laughs> we are not sponsored by Quaker Oaks. Uh, overall, it was a success, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see more of this, hit us up, like, comment, subscribe, and join us on Discord, Patreon, and all our social media stuff. Thank you.